Hello everybody, I am Torit Mato. In this channel Art and Purulia, I talk of simple ways to learn drawing and painting. Today I will deal with a very simple but most important aspect of painting, understanding colors. I will focus mainly on watercolors today. It will help you understand how colors behave alone and with one another and how we can exploit them to create beautiful paintings. We will have a quick recap of color theory. If you are not sure of the color theory, you may please watch my video on color theory first. Hue is name of a color like red, blue and yellow. Intensity is brilliance or strength of the color, how dull or how bright the color is. Temperature is warm or cool. If a color is bit orangish it is warm and if it is bluish it is cool. Tint is the lighter version of hue which you can get by adding white in case of acrylic and oil and simply by adding water in case of watercolor. Shade is when grey is added that is slightly darker version of the hue. A color wheel is a nice way to represent colors to understand their relationships. Primary colors are red, blue and yellow. They are called primary because you can't make them by mixing any other colors. In case of printing technology they use CMYK, cyan, magenta and yellow and K is for key that is black. Cyan and magenta are slightly different versions of red and blue only. Secondary colors are the colors you get by mixing primary colors in 50-50 ratio. When you mix red and yellow you get orange. When you mix yellow and blue you get green and when you mix blue with red you get violet. These are the secondary colors. And tertiary colors are those you get by mixing a primary and a secondary color. In other words, when you change the ratio of two primary colors, one about 75 and other about 25, you get a tertiary color. Complementary colors are those two colors which are opposite to each other in the color wheel. They complement each other when placed side by side, but if you mix them, they neutralize each other. The mix becomes brownish and at times muddy not very desirable. Now let's see how we mix colors but before we start mixing it's important to understand that all the colors can be classified as warm or cool some are very prominent and some not much especially the uh, blue stone ones the primary colors with both the versions produce different results and we will see that by mixing separately the warm shades and the cool shades for the warm shades i have chosen gamboge hue as warm yellow which is almost like cadmium yellow, uh, scarlet lake as warm red and Prussian blue as warm blue.
for the cool shades i have chosen lemon yellow as cool yellow crimson lake as cool red and french ultramarine as cool blue If you analyze both the color wheels we got from the warm and the cool shades you will realize if you want a cool color like violet you won't get it by mixing warm red and warm blue it will turn almost brown because the warm red has a bit of yellow also now violet group of colors like magenta or purple or various other shades can better be made using cool colors that is cool shades of red and blue similarly if we are looking to make warm shades like orange we can get a good orange from warm red and warm yellow but we cannot get them from the cool shades moreover we can make several shades of green and browns by mixing the various combinations of the colors the greens especially that we get in the tubes look quite flat to add to the variety of greens it's always advisable to mix them using uh, blue and yellow you can get really huge variety of shades and you'll see for yourself that it makes a lot of difference and a lot of variety in your greenery for dark shades also instead of using black from the tube try mixing blue a lot of it a bit of red and a little yellow to neutralize the mix and you will get beautiful dark shade to use in place of the black you can make it warm or cool depending on whether your painting has a warm composition or a cool composition adding white to a color makes a color dull and opaque the color produced changes drastically from the original so never use white to make a color lighter just add a bit of water
though theoretically you can make almost any color with the warm and cool shades of primary colors and black some colors it's better if you have readily available in a separate tube like purple and turquoise these colors are difficult to make moreover what you make will not be bright enough another aspect is whether you should mix on palette and then apply or let the colors mix on the paper itself if you are looking for a flat finish like a building then it's better to mix on palette and then apply but for the beautiful effects uh, for say landscape let them mix on the paper it can create effects you might not have ex even expected so the moral of the story is more you experiment with colors more you understand them more you learn and you know how best you can exploit them thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to like and share and of course subscribe the channel if you haven't already stay safe stay healthy see you